Hey everybody, my name is Jennifer. This is Metatrona speaking. I have the message of the week from God. I'm going to be the first to admit that this is being put out later than I would like it to be. Normally, um, I try to put it out on like Sunday or Monday. Today is like, ee! the whole week is like already gone. It's like Thursday. So, better late than ever though, right? So let me give this to you. So he says, my loves, what are you chasing? Chasing things, chasing an appearance, an idea of yourself, chasing approval from people who don't know your worth, chasing things that don't last, that won't exist in 50 years. Maybe you won't exist in 50 years. All you will take with you is your soul what you have learned and the bonds of love you created come with you and everything else is left behind. No house comes with you, no prestigious titles, nothing you have ever purchased. When souls return back to me, they do not say, I wish I had worked more overtime or I wish I had saved more money. They do not wish they had bought more things or stayed up later looking at social media. All that will matter is love. Loving your body and loving your soul. Not judging your body and suppressing your soul. The unconscious chase a vision of perfection and happiness. The conscious see where they are and accept it without judgment. They find beauty and gratitude wherever they are, and they have eyes to see. They do not chase things or people or approvals. They just are. There is so much power in you just existing as yourself, in peace with yourself. Your soul matters. The physical world will pass and change, and once you reach one goal of theirs, they will give you another. When you chase after what the world values, you will never be satisfied. You will never be whole. You will never know peace. It is as if you are chasing the wind. You will never catch it. You will not know yourself any deeper. You will be stagnant and hurting and most certainly believe life is a competition. You will check off accomplishments but never feel relief. I can show you peace. I can show you what it feels like to be complete. I can show you satisfaction for what you have and are right now, today. You don't need to look a certain way to be worthy of love. You don't need a certain job or certain family life to be worthy of love. Your value is not in what you can do for others. Your value is not skin deep or based on your age or your physical ability. Your value is undeniable, unchangeable, divinely decreed. You are valuable because you are mine, because you are you. I do not have another you. I cannot make another you. I knit you together, but you've made your own choices and have had endless experiences that make you exactly who you are. It cannot be duplicated. This inherent value of your soul can never be taken from you. You don't have to earn it. It just is. Just as you don't have to find yourself, you just are. You don't need to chase and search and strain yourself you are already what you seek. The love you crave is already surrounding you. My love for you is quiet, 
subtle. It's in a warm breeze on your cheek. It's in the colors of a sunrise. It's the tiny plant pushing up through the cracks in the sidewalk. It's in the quiet. In the quiet, you can hear my voice. In the quiet, if you can quiet the ego, you can hear your voice, your soul's voice. All your answers are waiting, but you must stop striving for them. You must allow. You must let go. You must be receptive to receive. You are tense from fighting your way through the world. This way is fading. There is no longer a need for this. This is not a need anymore. This is just a remnant mindset that holds humanity in the past. Reality has already changed, but the programmed responses still live on until you consciously view your behaviors in order to change them. The world you live in conditions you to be unconscious. Sometimes there are difficulties in your life to bring attention to an area of your life that you remain unconscious in. The more resistant you are to changing your mindset in that area, the larger the disruption to your life is needed to pull you from your unconsciousness. There must be upsets to your false reality to deconstruct your false beliefs. The false beliefs cannot just be partially dismantled. They must be taken down to the very foundation. When the false belief is completely obliterated, then with great care, with great planning, something new and true can be built in its place. And it is beautiful. It is a solid, true learning and it lasts forever. You gain wisdom, or you gain compassion, you learn how to love or how to discern, your very soul is expanded and made more beautiful. This is why you came. You came to experience and learn and grow ever more beautiful in your soul. Do not settle for someone else's idea of happiness. Do not settle for a life that looks happy, but is joyless. Joy is waiting for you now. You need no one's permission. The most important thing you can do is love yourself and set yourself free. Explore, my love. Go make choices. Have an adventure that you don't know how it ends. Life is your playground. Look around at all the choices and go explore the ones that interest you. Discover and grow your joy as an act of love to yourself. When your soul returns to me again, you will not regret this choice. And that's the end of the message. Love you all. Until next time. Bye-bye.